Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod, and in this video, we are going to discuss about how to develop a test automation framework from scratch. I'm going to discuss with the example right now. So this is an example that we are basically going to discuss, as well as we are going to cover a couple of more topics like why it is important to learn test automation framework, right? And what are the different phases of a test automation framework? What are the different automation framework already available for web? And the important points while you are working with the automation framework. This video is very important for anyone, even the freshers, right? it's really important for you to know about the automation framework that probably you are going to work in the future. So let's get started and let's learn how you can develop your own automation framework and what are the things that you should know. So first of all, the very important question is why uh, it is important to know about the automation framework, right? If you see here, if you have two plus years of experience, right? then it is mandatory that you should know how to create an automation framework from scratch. This is like a mandatory for you after two plus years experience, because if you are an automation tester, especially I'm talking about the automation tester, but if you're a manual tester and a fresher, then it is not applicable for you that you should know about the automation framework. But if you are a uh, automation tester, or if you're planning to become an automation tester in future, then knowing about your automation framework is really, really important. And you should know how to create your automation framework from scratch as well as at least you should know if you have an existing uh, framework which is available in your company how exactly it works okay so that you can explain them in a properly in the interview as well as you can explain to your colleagues or anyone right if you want to contribute that to the automation framework then you should know about it so that is where it is really important so if you know about the automation framework it means at least you have worked on it this is like a traditional belief which is basically present in right now. Let's move and let's discuss about the, what exactly is a test automation framework. And if you see here, we have basically highlighted, right? It's a set of rules and the guidelines that are used to design or your test cases, right? So basically test automation framework will basically help you to whatever the test cases that you're automating, right? How you can properly put them into a structure way where you can have a lower maintenance course. You will have more code reusability and anyone from other team or anyone from your team can contribute to it. Right. Uh, that's why your test automation framework is very important that you should know how to create as well as how you can work on the existing ones. If you see here, right, it will reduce the maintenance cost, right? This is very, very important point here. Okay. And focus on the test automation framework is to optimize the automation process. So if you have test automation already available in your company, then it will basically help you to optimize the overall process and releasing your project or a product in a very efficient manner, right? So that is where it is really important. Let's move on to the different phases, right? I think which is uh, self-explanatory. We have a planning phase, we have a development phase, and we have an implementation phase. In the planning phase, we are basically going to select what are the things that we should include in this automation framework, right? Uh, test automation framework, that tool that has to be selected in line with the team activities. Basically, team should be aware for it. I mean, suppose your team is basically comfortable in working with JavaScript right now. So the best automation framework that you can go with is probably the Cypress or a Py Playwright instead of going with the Selenium with Java, right? Suppose your colleagues or your team is more comfortable in Java, then it is comfortable that you should go toward the Selenium Java automation framework, right? So that, that's where the planning phase comes. In the development phase, we basically create our test cases. We can basically select which type of automation framework we are going to select. For example, it can be a data-driven, hybrid, and the linear based. All these I have explained in a separate video. I'm going to put a link also where you can learn about the different automation framework or different frameworks available in the web automation that you can leverage. And the last part is implementation part where you basically structure the automation framework, do some execution by creating a POCs. POCs are basically, you basically try out a small section of your app and automate it and create a proper structure of your test framework from scratch that you can try out and review and code review and cycles, right? So this is like a theoretical part. Let's jump directly into the components of a test automation now. I think this is, I have explained multiple times, right? And this is where it is important. So if you see right now, I have a page object extended uh, automation framework available for me. And if you see, it's a Selenium plus Java project where we are using a build tool known as Maven. So we are using Maven to basically build this project, right? And we are basically also using something called as test ng, test ng to as a test platform, or you can say a testing framework. So test ng we are using for a testing framework, which will run our test cases. Maven will help us to build the classes. We are using Selenium plus Java right now, and we have implemented page object model in this case. And now if you see, we have basically divided the project into multiple ways. We have test data management, we have libraries, we have test cases, we have reporting mechanism, we have utils, common code, and this is where majorly our automation revolve around. We have basically selected the programming language, which is Java. 
type of framework we are going with the data driven right now the example that i'm showing you it's a hybrid it's a mix of a data driven as well as some of the hybrid mechanism different packages that we have how different packages are there and the ci cd part how we are running this let's again jump to the diagram first so if you see this is how you need to tell them in an interview whenever someone asks you explain me or your automation framework you can tell them we have utils first right we have a utils we have listeners we have resources we have config properties we have reports we have parallel execution grouping grouping of test cases we have soft assertion hard assertion added uh, on the testing framework and we have a pom file which basically represent as a maven how what are the different depend dependency that we need to include right all the things are available here and similarly you can download this uh, framework it's present in github i will just give you the link also so you can go to this link and you can basically do a clone by clicking here right and it will basically contains all the information related to it and in this video i have explained about how to explain hey guys welcome to the testing better. academy right you can watch it i i will put the link also i have explained two example one of the example right now i am explaining you here right and if you see how to develop from a scratch see the folder structure here uh, we have a source file first of all we have a source file in this source we have divided we have a event listeners we have page objects we have utilities and similarly we have test cases different test cases available we have executable resources like different drivers available extended report we have report mechanism we have logs we have property files and this is a pom.xml which is basically dependency what are the different depend dependency that we need we have added a selenium dependency we have a poi commons functionality also we have some of the reportings my sql connectors if we needed in future poi to basically to work on the excel files right we have test ng for testing framework all the things are available in this so that's how you can create the structure as well as that's how you can create or develop your test automation from a scratch so i hope this is clear now so if you see i have given you the example here right so this is that example and this was the reports per utils and the listeners that we have basically done and you can download the framework here now let's jump to the important point while working with the automation framework framework will basically help us to optimize the test automation framework this is a truth right it will increase a team speed and efficiency automation will help you to basically automate your regression suite right so it will increase the speed as well as efficiency to release a product generally most of the times we have a low maintenance code in the automation good uh, framework will reduce your testing efforts this is true it will streamline your testing process and it will be highly profitable in a longer run so in a longer run it will be profitable but initially it will be a very uh, i would say expensive whenever we do automation right and we have a very minimum script maintenance and a higher code reliability or a readability right which is very important so i hope this is clear guys i hope uh, now you are ready how to develop your test automation framework if someone ask you in the interview also right you can tell them these are the components and how we have basically come up with the automation framework you can discuss about this automation framework or you can watch the video uh, this video also where i have explained with two more examples that that you can go through it and you can download the all the automation framework here and if you want to know more about the automation framework just search for the framework in the testing academy you will see types of automation framework where i have discussed about data driven hybrid linear bdd all the different type of automation framework also all right so thanks a lot for guys uh, for watching this video i hope you have learned something new and uh, this was a very intense video i know it's a little long but i hope you have learned something no new about the automation framework this is a really really important video for you and uh, i'll see you in the next video make sure you subscribe and gives a thumbs up to the video and if you want a part 2 of the video where i will discuss more about how to develop the automation framework from scratch and probably we will do some live also so type in the comment live or part 2 i will do the next part also all right thanks a lot i'll see you in the next video